Welcome back to Inside Steelers Nation on SNR. I'm Randy Slack with Dale Lawley and Matt Williamson. And uh, we teased this earlier when we started the show today. I know I'm not talking about um, all the nonsense we talked about. I'm talking about real stuff here. We've been talking about Blake Bortles, and Dale brought up the, uh, the point, what NFL teams would Blake Bortles have started for in 2017 other than the Jacksonville Jaguars? Hmm. Well, I guess let's, let me ask you guys the the prefaces of that. I mean, like one of the things I was most critical of any team in the in the league this off season was how do you not bring somebody else in in Jacksonville? Right. You know, because he was so bad last year, and he went on to have an okay season, a good season by his standards, and has fallen apart since. <laughs> so you're saying like as an opening day starter, or if they're playing what, this week, what team would he have, would they have come out of training camp and they would have said this guy is our starter and he would have started all year long? Who? Let's buzz through the things. New England, no. Jets, I mean, McCown's better than him, but maybe he would have been the starter and got replaced. Tyrod's better than him. The Miami situation's better than him. Maybe over Brissett after Luck got hurt. Maybe. You know, (laughs) in Houston after Watson got hurt or ahead of Savage. He may have opened the the season as their starter. And thrown, got sacked ten times, and then they put in Watson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who am I missing in that? Mariota. Today? Mariota, no. No. Denver, maybe. Yeah, I think he would in Denver. Yeah, Denver, yes. Oakland, no. Chargers, no. Casey, no. Mm-hmm. Cowboys, no. Philly, after Wentz got hurt. Washington, no. Giants, no, unless they threw in the towel on Eli late. So, no. Chicago, maybe he would have held Trubisky off longer than Glennon did. Yeah. Um, Green Bay, obviously, no, then yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Minnesota, would he have gotten the nod over any? I mean, it was Bradford when, at the beginning of the year. That's what I'm saying. Once Bradford got hurt, would they have went to Bortles over Keenum? It would have been the wrong decision, but they might have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Detroit, no. Detroit, no. Rams, no. Rams, no. Seattle, no. no. Zona after Palmer, Palmer got, got hurt. hurt. Yeah. San Fran, yes. Yeah. Until they traded. Until they traded, Virginia. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the South, Breeze, Cam, Ryan, no, 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 no. <laughs> Winston, Winston, no. Winston, no. So that's three or four. Yeah, there's not much there. Not Cle- much Cleveland, there. yes. We would say we could say Cleveland, oh, yes. Oh, we didn't talk about this division. Yeah. No. yeah. Cleveland, yes. But that would have been the only situation. You're not starting them over Flacco. You're not starting them over Dalton. No, but maybe week four out of bench Flacco for Bortles Possibly. at that time. Yeah. You know Possibly. what I mean? If he would have been an option. They don't have another option. Yeah. So, yeah. I so mean, there's just not a lot of situations where he would be your starting quarterback for all 16 games. Right. Right. I mean, there's just point. there's just nobody out there, and and the fact that you know he's starting in the final eight. <laughs> right, and, and if you take it a step further, if they're smart, they don't give him eighteen million a year. I can't imagine Coughlin would do that. I mean, I, I, maybe last regime would have, and they go find somebody else, and then he's on the open market. But what happens? And what happens this who, week? If let's say, for example, and I'm just what if they win? I'm spitballing here. What if they beat the Steelers and go to the AFC Championship? And they're what twelve and four, anyways, or you know, I mean, they won last week. Yeah. Maybe twelve and six. Yeah. I mean, you can make an argument to bring him back. Then all of a sudden, you're like, ah, oh. it's kind of like the Flacco situation, right? And and they felt better about Flacco when he took them to the Super Bowl. And Flacco was better than. And his. he was better. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah he was playing. He has only out. since gotten god awful. Right. <laughs> and you still take Joe over Blake. Yeah. You know, every day of the week and all throughout both their careers. But what I was going at is, let's say Blake becomes a free agent. Then the league will really tell you what they think. About right. Them, you know? Well, I mean, for, and I think I mentioned this earlier in the week, um, in a preseason when they benched him for Henny. For Henny, mm-hmm. and I was I was on with Mark Madden, and he asked me, "Would you trade for for Bortles, or if he, if if Jacksonville cuts him, would you sign him as Ben's backup? Is he better than Landry?" And I said, "No, I wouldn't. No, right? No, he's terrible. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, percent agree. So I don't think he's better than Landry Jones. No. Yeah, I think. But like, I would have said he is. Uh, to be frank, six weeks ago, I would have said he's better than Landry Jones. I, I just, but I, I can't yeah. right now. <laughs> the thing about him that's really coming to fruition is he's so mentally fragile that when things go bad, they go awful. I mean, yeah. you, you know, like when he loses that confidence, like all last year or these past couple weeks, he's the worst player in the league, and there's not enough highs to make up for that. He compared himself to LeBron James. No, did week. he? Yeah, yeah. He said, he you said, know, people, there are people out there who say LeBron James. Is it the best player? 
uh, and he compared himself to that. He's, yeah. So. I mean, how often in the league do you hear people calling, like all the all the stuff like the Titans are saying? Yeah. Oh my God. Like, yeah. You, you don't hear are that like from, laughing at him. You don't hear that from anybody. Like right. Davion Clowney, he's tr- he's garbage. He's garbage, right? Or they like, beat him. They they after forty to seven, you get smashed by the Jags. He's garbage. <laughs> he's garbage, right? Vontaze yeah. Perfect said said stuff. We got. We don't, we're not worried about Blake Bortles when we play the Jaguars. Kelvin Beecham did last year. You know, former Steeler said yeah. something along the lines of, this guy's just <laughs> fragile. You know, Earl like, Thomas and Michael Bennett said that. And, and this week, somebody said from Tennessee saying, we're going to turn Tom Brady into Blake Bortles. Yeah, Byers. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Kevin Byard. Uh, Byard, Byard. Okay. yeah. Byard. Okay. Um, like, nobody makes fun of people in the league publicly – to that degree, yeah. right. people people were upset about like the Jaguars possibly using what Mike Mitchell said as bulletin board material that they're going to be they're going right. to no one's worried about nobody's worried about people Blake. saying Blake Bortles sucks right like <laughs> he's garbage and they're openly saying it and other teams are saying it on every week Blake Bortles on the inside and the ins- insults it will probably never stop that's that's what he said uh, and, and here's his quote he said it'll probably never stop. There's people that think LeBron James sucks, so if that happens, I'm sure there will be a lot of people that always think that I suck. So he's not exactly comparing himself <laughs> to LeBron James, but he just used himself and LeBron James in the, in the same, same sentence. Yes. I mean, I uh, hear that, That's, and they aren't very similar. And I don't even know anything about no, basketball. They're both tall guys. <laughs> I mean, right, they're both making a lot of money. Um, yeah. I mean, he's won. He's beat the Steelers in Heinz Field. And won a playoff game did without he, throwing for 100 he, yards. In did either. he be really beat this? I mean, well, he has a win. He has a, a win. win yeah, he threw eight. He, he completed eight passes in the game. Let's yeah, not right. Well, and he and threw that, 14 last week. And that's the thing is, or that game. you know, when when you talk about him and people are like, "Oh, well, I'm not worried about Blake Bortles." Well, he he literally can do basically nothing, and they can still win games. That's the thing, right? The, the, I mean, the they game, know who he is. When they played the Titans at the end of the year, the game they lost. They were, they just kept the Titans couldn't really score. They couldn't really get anything going, and then eventually one of their the Jaguars D lineman gets a, a sack fumble, return for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. They have five of those. Right, it's insane. Where their guys just they're they're big athletic D linemen, sack fumble, scoop score, that happens, and it's he doesn't have to beat them. He doesn't have to beat the Steelers. He doesn't have to beat anybody if he limits disasters. And before week fifteen. He didn't turn the ball over, right. so that was huge. You know, at the yeah. end, lately he's been not completing easy passes. I mean, eventually you got to complete some passes. Here's the exact uh, Kevin Byard quote: "This is a playoff game, so I don't really care if it was Joe Montana. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm going. I'm trying to go out there and win this game. I want to make him look like Blake Bortles if I can, and try to catch a couple of picks. Tom Brady's a great quarterback, but it's a playoff game." And I'm not really looking at it, at it like that. <laughs> Bortles isn't even in that game, and they they go out of their way to make fun of this guy. Right. I mean, that's crazy. Did well, they not see the half Nate Peterman had against the Chargers? Right. There were worse quarterbacks. But Nate Peterman has it wasn't like a 16 game starter. I mean, he wasn't the third overall pick in the draft. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. But even at that, like people didn't talk about Achilles Smith like that. No. No. Nobody. I did. <laughs> I don't. You <I> <laughs> probably. Yeah. Did. You may. After a while. Yeah. But I don't ever remember any any uh, teams talking. Talking about like a quarterback laughing yeah. at him. I mean, just laughing at yeah. him. You know, right? It's just like they didn't. I don't know if they even went to that point with Tebow. Like no, there were people no, that would right. say, like, oh, if eh. you said bad things about Tebow, I mean, you were getting struck down yeah. from the heavens. Right. But you know, nobody, <laughs> nobody would openly make you know make fun of him that much. No, and he couldn't complete passes either. All right, so if they had Kirk Cousins for the whole year, are they the best team in the league. I possibly. think yes, yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think the Steelers, now, the, the, the weapons aren't great. No. I think the Steelers are going to Jacksonville this weekend, potentially. You know, the Steelers are going to Jacksonville. This if weekend? Kirk Cousins was oh, the starter yeah, yeah, for the yeah, Jags, yeah. then they they would have gotten the first round. They would have ran away with that division. Yeah, they yeah, would have went like fourteen and two, and, and you'd be a lot more scared of them. Yeah, I mean for sure. Still, I mean, there's one thing that's there's three things in this game that really scare me, and one of them are D.D. Westbrook getting behind. You know, blown coverages and big plays from blown things from the secondary. Yeah, don't bite on the play action. Yeah, I mean, but they do. And, I mean, if I'm them, I'm throwing deep balls a lot in this game. But Yeah, go for you it. You look at that, and, and I, I looked it up. He's, Bortles was 12 for 45 on passes of 20 or more yards down the field this really? year. Really? 
20 or more. Doesn't surprise me. 20 or more. Right, right. These are 40 or more. Yeah, not not the long ones. These are 20-yard passes, and he's 12 for 45. They don't throw the ball down the field, and he can't do it. I mean, I guess if I'm in Jacksonville's corner, you know, we're sitting here going, well, Ben's not going to throw five picks again. I mean, I bet Jacksonville's saying Bortles won't play like he did last week again. I mean, you almost can't play that bad again. That's the worst quarterback performance but he I think has, I've ever seen. But he has. Three three straight weeks, he's been really bad. He has, but not as bad as last week. I mean, he, I mean, he couldn't complete a screen It's, it's like he's – and people want to point to that three-game stretch where he didn't turn the ball over and he played well. And, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the outlier. That's not the norm. Over four years. Over four years. Right. He's much closer to the guy who's played the last three weeks than mm-hmm. he is that guy. But no one in the NFL is as bad as what he showed last week. Right. Probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not the 85 Bears he played against no, either. No, it, was right. yeah, it wasn't right. a good defense. a 26-rated defense right. in the league. A lot of zone. I mean, it wasn't, yeah. And right. they weren't getting a lot of pressure on him, and he just, you know, okay, I'm just going to tuck the ball. Hey, instead of running, instead of throwing these passes for incompletions, just run the ball. And I'm that's curious what, they told what the coaches said. Yeah, I mean, I, I, they must have been like, dude. You can't complete a pass, yeah. so drop back and run. Did they say, you know, <laughs> did they tell me sucked? <laughs> and then so just right. run? Like, you're terrible. <laughs> they, they showed him uh, Bayard's Twitter and was like, look, these are what these people are saying about you. Yeah. You go out there and just run people the ball. People are laughing at you. <clears throat> people are laughing at us. But you know, what brings me to the offseason complaint I had was, how do you enter the season with just him and Henny? They have a bazillion dollars in cap space. They spend it. They could have signed Glennon 50, or somebody. $50.7 million are spending this year on cap space on their defensive line. That's wow. just the top, the top five. Well, guys. they're getting the money out of it at least. Yeah, not like those guys are bust. And that's, I mean, and Bouye and and Ramsey are making uh, twenty one. Yeah. So that I se- that's seven guys making seventy million dollars. Those are safeties or free agents. <laughs> yeah. That they paid big money. They paid too, big and, money, right, and right. they didn't go out. And and I'm not saying that there was a lot on the quarterback market. No, right. But they got nothing. But you could have gotten some. I mean, or draft Davis Webb or Josh Dobbs yeah. or Peterman or you know it doesn't have to be a first round pick. But you can't go into Case camp Keenum with, was a free agent. Right, right. I mean, those type of guys. Yeah. Somebody that's played football before. Yeah. <laughs> Not somebody who doesn't, who looks like they've never played the game before in their life. <laughs> Last week was unbelievable. <laughs> now, we talked, we've talked before about how we didn't know if the Jags would, if they thought they would be this good. And uh, we've, we'll, sure. play, we'll play the interview. Uh, we had Ryan O'Halloran from the Florida Times Union on this, on this morning on the DV morning show. And I talked to him off the air. And I'm like, wow, I'm like, divisional round matchup between, uh, you know, Steelers and Jags. He goes, yeah, I, I, I just can't, I can't believe it. Like, they're they're down there, and, you know, they're playing with house money. Yeah, they won a game. They won they a won game. A and game, I don't right. think, I don't think, A, they thought they'd make the playoffs, and then B, they'd be in the second round. But we talked about right. that before that game. Had they gotten any other matchup, yeah. they lose. We'd probably pick against them. Yeah, they yeah, lose. I mean, they're the not. The Chargers. Or... They scored 10 points. Right. And the thing is, <laughs> I'm not sure how much we've talked about this this week. Yeah, and you've said this before. Their defense isn't the 85 Bears. It's a really good defense. It's good defense. But if Taylor wasn't terrible, too, he was awful in that game. Yeah. I mean, he missed Missing wide open, open guys. guys yeah. or not pulling the trigger at open guys. That They could have lost that game by 20. Yeah. You know. and, and the Bills, I mean, they had an opportunity down close to punch one in early. Mm-hmm. And that would have put some pressure on the, on the Jacksonville offense, and they didn't get it done. And then they gave them three points at the end of the first half. Yeah, that too. Right. I mean, you know, they. The only thing they did good on offense was Bortles running. Yeah. You can't live live, live like that. He's not Vic. <laughs> no. I mean, he's not Cam Newton. <laughs> I mean, last night, boy, a couple, you know, Wolf and Benz were bringing it up a little bit. Like, we got to limit his running. I'm like, yeah, but if he runs for 80 yards, that doesn't mean they're going to drop 30 on you. No. no I, I mean, mean, so they so they run for 150 yards as a team and throw for, you know, 60 and for 12, they, yeah. they lose, you know, 28 to seven. Right. Right. Because <laughs> the Steelers' offense is on the field a fair amount. And less turnovers. Like I said, there's three things that can beat this team. The deep ball, turnovers like crazy, and maybe we'll talk about it later. But the red zone numbers are very much in Jacksonville's yeah. favor. Oh, both yeah. sides of the yeah. ball. Yeah. They've been very good. They gave up 28 red zone trips on the season. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. I mean, and the next closest team was San Diego. or I keep saying, The yeah. Chargers gave up uh, 30, I want to say 37, 38, something okay. like that. So and the Steel- don't even Steelers the were zone. third, and they were 38. Wow. Or 39, I'm sorry, 39. So, like, hmm. 11 more trips than... Well, the problem is the Steelers are allowing big touchdowns plays. without yeah. getting in the red But right. Jacksonville's defense, is the Steelers allowed those 13 plays of 40 more yards in mm-hmm. the passing game. Jacksonville allowed 12. I say Ramsey can be had. Boudier yeah. doesn't allow the big plays. He's the consistent guy. Yeah. He also doesn't make the big plays. Right. Ramsey makes big plays and ends up on Sports Center, but he'll get beat, too. Yeah. You know, like a Marcus He trusts Peters. himself too much. Yeah, he's cocky and, you know, he's athletically arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have that, I don't have that problem. I don't either. <laughs> 
Well, more to How come. about you, Schlack? <laughs> Speak for yourself, boys. More to come on Inside Steelers Nation on SNR.